Hey everybody, Edouan here from Tunnelvision TV and today I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to go from PF Track into 3ds Max. Um, I had a few uh, people asking me. So really quickly, uh, once you're in PF Track, um, I'm using version 2012. Um, once you're done with your track, you've gone through all the tracking, auto track, user track, all of those things, your camera solve, uh, orient scene, and you've added some test objects, and then you, if you're happy with your track, you obviously need to export your tracking data to some 3D application to actually use the camera data to go from there uh, forward and, and create some 3D objects, etc. So in this tutorial, I'm quickly going to show you how to go to 3ds Max. So inside PF Track, uh, once you've added your test object, just click on uh, right click on test object and select export. Uh, that's going to create the export node. And if you double click on that, then basically on the format, you just uh, select Autodesk 3ds Max 2011. And that script will be compatible with different versions of 3ds Max like 2012, 2013. And I'm, I'm sure it will be compatible with 2014 as well. Um, I'm actually using um, 3ds Max 2012. So yeah, so just select that. And then below that on file name, click on those little dots to browse. And I'm just going to put that on my desktop. And you can give it a file name. And I'm going to call this camera track. And you'll see it's got an extension .ms. Uh, that's basically a 3ds Max script. And I'm going to click save. Okay, then what you want to do is... Um, you can actually select what objects you want to export into that script. So obviously I want to export my camera, so make sure that's ticked. Uh, groups, you can tick your camera group as well. Trackers, you don't have to uh, export them, but I'm going to leave them in for this test. Objects, you also don't have to do that. These are all your test objects, so I'm going to leave them in. And textures, I don't have any, so that's fine. And then you just click on export scene. And it's going to give you this little exclamation mark, which is quite weird, but it's actually saying export succeeded. And then you click on OK. And now we're going to jump into 3ds Max. All right. So as I said, I'm using uh, 3ds Max 2012. And once you're in here, it's as easy as going to Max script here at the top and then click on Run script. And then browse to the location where you actually saved the MS file. Mine's on my desktop. Highlight it and click Open. And it's going to load for a bit, and there you go. So if I just expand or maximize this viewport, and if I scrub through this, you'll actually see all my tracking points, all my test objects, and also my camera move. And then from here, you can obviously go and create some objects, import your scene to, to match it up, and then from here, you'll go into your compositor to put everything together. All right, so if we go to perspective and we zoom out a bit you can see your camera and if I scrub through it you can see the camera move so as easy as that to go from PF track to 3ds max right I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and if you want to see more please subscribe and also let me know if you want to see something specific and I'll try and create a tutorial for that thank you see you guys again cheers bye